Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I cannot believe we are at the end of the first month of 2017. I have no idea where time is going in general. I still, like, I swear it's still like 2005 or something, but here we are in 2017 and here we are with another favourites video. Anyway, today I have a fair few things to show you guys. It's a little mixture today, so I'm not going to ramble on too long. If you do want to see what I've been loving this month, please keep watching. So first of all, I'm going to start with like body care and kind of showery sort of stuff. Speaking of which, this has just come from my shower. It is dripping wet. So I'm going to try and not hold on to it for too long. I wanted to try this out for years. Like when this first came out, I remember seeing the advert and I always thought, what a great idea. That's like the best idea ever. For some reason, I've never picked it up. The Lush one, the Rose Argan Body Conditioner, amazing. Also, incredibly expensive and it comes in a pot this big. This cost me around £2.50 I think, I got it on sale, I think it's normally around £4 for this size but you can normally find it on offer. This is amazing, especially if you like to fake tan because I don't know about you guys, I love my loving tan, I'm going to be doing a fake tanning routine very very soon, I know some of you have been waiting for that, but I get like the worst sort of patchiness around my inner elbow, no matter what I do, like no matter how much moisturiser I put on, even if I like gradual tan over the top, this along with drinking water. I have started to drink more water, which probably does help. But I have found that this really, really helps. Whenever I've got my fake tan on, I use this probably every other day. I'll show you the product that I use in between that as well. Uh, it just keeps my skin so, so smooth. You have probably tried it because it's been around for such a long time now, or like a few years, it's a long time in my head. But you put it on in the shower after you've like done all of your body stuff, and then you rinse it off just like you would a hair conditioner and you come out, you don't have to moisturise, it's like the best invention ever. So like I said, I use that kind of every other day when I fake tan. The product that I use in between those days is this. That I feel like that was like a full on like commercial like, buy this now. But yeah, I have been loving this recently. It's the Palmer's Cocoa Butter Natural Bronze Body Lotion. This is actually all I've got on right now. Like, I've run out of my fake tan, the loving tan, and I've just been using this and it gives me a pretty good tan. Like, it's not like really dark, but considering it's winter, it looks pretty natural and it moisturizes your skin really, really nicely. I like it because it has a pump, although because it is such a thick product, the pump doesn't pick up everything, so after a while you kind of have to tip it upside down, smack it on your hand to get out the product. But it is really, really good. And when I get my loving tan again, I'm having like a delivery soon, I'm gonna try this and see if it keeps my loving tan on for longer. I'm gonna do an experiment and then if it works, I'll put it in my routine. I'm now going to quickly touch on a few fairly boring things. Two brushes that I didn't used to use that often, that I am recently obsessed with. In fact, I think this is probably a favourite from like the past few months maybe. This is the Lux Powder Fusion by Zoeva. Mine's a little bit dirty, I used it today, I'm sorry. And then I also have, what do you call it, the Lux Powder Finish. So the 132 brush and the 134 brush. This is amazing at dusting under your eyes for powder. It is also incredibly good for highlighter because it just fits around here. I find that sometimes when, because like I don't have the most amazing cheekbones, some people have like just full on razor sharp cheekbones. Mine are kind of like here and then they just disappear into nothing. So when I use a fan brush, it kind of gets me in the wrong places. It gets my cheekbone, but it kind of gets me up here as well. So I like to use the fan brush and kind of, not the fan brush, this brush and kind of dust it around and it just lets me be a bit more precise with it but it's not like so precise that you pack on a crap ton of highlight, but you can still get quite a lot. This one is really good for contouring. It's not too thin, so you don't get too harsh of a line, but it's not too big that you end up getting like a full patch of color on your face. I just really like it. I don't know why I've never really used this before. I think I used to use this for blush. I still use it for blush sometimes, but recently it's been a favorite of mine for contouring. And then a quick shout out to the W7 Shade and Swap. I mentioned this in one of my previous videos. It is literally just like this sort of rough, spongy texture. And the idea is, if you have a dirty brush, like an eyeshadow brush, say if you had, I don't know, blue pigment on it, you would just go around here and it wouldn't clean your brush, like you'd still be able to see the blue, but it would take off like 90% of the colour, so you'd be able to dip it into, say, I don't know, a pink. And you wouldn't end up with like blue streaks through your pink eyeshadow. I don't know what eyeshadow look you're creating, but... But yeah, this is something that I've been loving recently. I picked this up in TK Maxx and I think it cost me around £2. Amazing invention. You could probably just 
DIY it and just get some sort of pot and get like a quite a rough sponge or something maybe give that a go but if you are feeling lazy and just want to pick one up I'll leave a link to this down below it's just really, really good if you just can't be bothered to clean your brushes in between like using different eyeshadows if you only have a few brushes it's just really, really handy to have next up we'll move on to makeup which we all know is the most exciting bit the Zoeva Warm Spectrum Palette is incredible. I forgot how much I love this and then I whacked it out the other day and I was like, oh my god, I love it. Like this purple shade, this orangey shade, even these like just neutral shades down here, they're all so amazing. I feel like they're quite similar to, I can't think what palette it is. A very famous palette. I feel like it's either like Huda Beauty, some sort of Kylie palette. One of like the really hyped up ones on YouTube. It's quite similar in terms of a lot of colours, so you have got a lot of really wearable colours like this one, it's really nice in the crease, really good transition transition colour, really good on the lid, some nice little shades here for a pop of highlight, got a really nice highlighting shade here that would be really good on your brow bone, and then you've got a few crazy ones to mix it up a bit, like you've got this bluey brown one, you guys may not be able to see that, but it's like a brownie eyeshadow that kind of reflects bluey green. I'm going to quickly wipe that on my pyjama bottoms, and pretend that never happened but yeah this palette is amazing and the Zoeva shadows are incredible they actually just sent me a PR package very exciting um, featuring like a new eyeshadow palette and it has got some insane shades it's a matte palette it's got oranges and reds that's all I'm gonna say tutorial coming soon Laura Geller Gilded Honey it's what's been on my face for like the past month straight it's what's on my face now the glow is blinding, that nose highlight is popping, and just, that's all I'm going to say. Again, another product that is on my face right now is the MAC lipstick in the shade Sis. I was looking this up, I got this from Fragrance Direct, and these are around £13.50 on there, I think. I wanted a shade that was pretty neutral, they didn't have the standard Velvet Teddy, stuff like that, so I looked up the swatches for this online, and I didn't see many people talk about it. This is like my most perfect nude shade ever and it's not drying at all so I always have this in my handbag because chances are most of the time I'm wearing a nude lip and say if I'm wearing like a liquid lipstick or something and if it goes a bit drying, whack some of this on, sorts it out, nice and creamy, it's not matte, it's, I can't remember what the formulation is, it's a satin one so it's not matte but it's kind of like a creamy-ish sort of formulation but I definitely think if you are after like a new neutral beigey toned lipstick, have a look at this one, it could surprise you. Next up is I guess more of a technique than an actual product. I have been loving putting oil with my foundation, like doing a couple of drops on a beauty blender. Trust me on this. You know of like the Facebook um, videos that go a little bit viral where you see people putting like oil on their face and then buffing their foundation over the top? It's so good. If you don't like dewy foundation, you will not like this. But if you like something that is just full on like wet skin, I may do like a wet skin highlighty glowy tutorial. Let me know what you think. But if you do want that sort of look, this is incredible. Just powder like the few bits that you want to be a bit more matte, like your T-zone or something like that. So good. You don't even need this oil. This is just the Jolique Skin Balancing Face Oil. It's just one that I have. You can use pretty much any facial oil. Just give it a go if you want the glow. I didn't even plan that, but that's my new slogan. Next up is something you may recognize from my testing Lottie London makeup video. This is the Tan Time Bronzer and this hasn't pushed out my Too Faced Chocolate Bronzer by any means but as an actual bronzer in terms of like warming up my face I have been loving this and it's so affordable it's such a good shade, it may look a little bit red tone but I find that I tend to contour and then I'll put a little bit of blusher slightly higher up and just like around sort of my temples and around my neck and stuff like that and it's just a really nice warming colour for me I don't even need to wear blush when I'm wearing this it's just an amazing drugstore product. Speaking of blush, I have found a new favourite blusher. I'm very sorry, Nars Orgasm. But it is the NYX blusher in the shade Amber. Again, you may recognise it from my testing makeup video where I did NYX. This is such a stunning blusher. It's so like fuss free. The quality is amazing. It's like up there with my Nars one and it's like five pounds or something. So I am very, very impressed with this. I wasn't like over the moon when I first tried it because blushes are kind of like a bit meh to me I don't tend to put too much of them on just add a little bit of color but this is like the perfect shade it actually probably looks a bit too pink it comes out a lot more natural than this but I just love this shade I 
pretty much have worn it I say every single day every other day at least since that testing makeup video and then we have another product by Lottie London I swear I just love their stuff this isn't even sponsored I genuinely just think their products are bomb AF this is the foundation stick it's called the all about that base I don't tend to like foundation sticks but I've tried a few in my time, both budget and high-end. This is the best one I've come across. And again, this is super cheap. This one's actually a little bit too light for me. It's in the shade Golden. I have a darker shade that I'm not gonna open just yet, I'm waiting for that tan. But it's such a nice foundation. It goes on really nice and full coverage, but it's not like cakey or anything like that. And you can also, I wouldn't say you can get like a natural finish from it, but you can do like more of a light coverage if you do blend it out a little bit more, or maybe put it on a beauty blender or something like that. It's just a really, really great foundation. In fact, the Selfie Ready foundation from them as well, also very good. The next product I have is a concealer. It's the Bare Minerals Bare Skin. I heard so much about this, like when it first came out, and I don't really hear much about it anymore. This is very deceiving because you would think it being Bare Minerals and like a natural sort of brand, that it wouldn't be for coverage. You would be wrong. This blends out into the most natural looking concealer but it literally covers anything spots under eye circles like anything and I use this on my bare skin sometimes like sometimes when I go to the gym like right now I'll take off my makeup and chances are I'll probably look like death underneath and sometimes compared to having like the full face on I just want to look a little bit more decent I'll chuck some of this under my eyes, maybe on a couple of spots, blend it out, no one knows you're wearing makeup. It's also a really good concealer for just general makeup, but I like it for no makeup makeup days. No makeup makeup. I think I'm actually going to be doing a no makeup makeup video, how many times can I say makeup in one sentence? This will be featured, because it is bloody good. And last but not least is something that I didn't think would be in a favourites video, ever, generally. A lip gloss. Don't worry, I'm still the same person. This is a Soap and Glory Sexy Mother Pucker Lip Gloss. This one is in the shade Donut. And I dragged this out the other day because I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I am currently waiting to get a top up on my lip fillers. If you don't know, I'm very open about the fact that I have fillers. And I was looking at my lips thinking, I'd like them to look a little bit more full again. So I thought, I have some of these plumping glosses. I'm gonna give them a go, see if they do much. They do much. They do indeed do much. Obviously it's not permanent or it's not anything like that, but for the time being, it's really, really nice. And I'm actually going to put this on quickly because it's such a nice colour. But it's so not sticky at all. It actually feels more like a balm. And normally, obviously you guys know, I don't tend to favour a glossy lip. But what I will do, put this on instead of a lip balm because it is quite moisturising. Wait for it to start to tingle. This one does tingle if you weren't aware. And... It like plumps your lips a little bit and then I'll kind of blot it down, probably matte my lips out a little bit with concealer and then go on top with whatever lipstick or liquid lipstick I wanted to use and it just makes my lips look a bit full of the time being. So yeah, if you are on the market for a new lip gloss or if you want to try something out that maybe plumps your lips a little bit, this is a good one. Okay guys, so that is everything for my January favourites. Still cannot believe we are about to get into February kind of brings a tear to my eye but it also means that I'm going to be doing some Valentine's Day makeup tutorials so if you have any requests maybe you're going on a sexy date and you want to match your makeup to your sexy dress or maybe you're just staying inside with your cats like I am and you want to look fierce let me know if you want any specific tutorials and I will try and get around to doing that let me know your favorites in the comment section down below please give this video a big thumbs up if you did like it and subscribe if you do want to see more of me but apart from that that's it from me I love you guys and I will see you in the next one Bye.